Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I hope everyone had a really good weekend. I don't know who's actually in chat because OBS is not playing nice with me today, as per usual, because it's not a it's not a nerdy curious stream without technical difficulties. <laughs> Even though I just tested everything not that long ago and it was fine. So Monday <laughs> It's a conspiracy. It is a conspiracy. We should add that to one of your quotes. Indeed. <laughs> um, let's get started regardless. Even if it's just us. Actually, it's kind of better that it's just us, because my outline is just all over the place. No one needs to That's no fine. one needs to witness this. <laughs> 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 Greetings, curious crowd, and welcome to another Curious Bites, where we discuss what's going on behind the scenes with us, share our weekly discoveries and distractions, answer some curious cues, and more. Today is Monday, July the 26th, 2021. I am Rach, and I'm joined by Ronnie. Hi, I'm still working. <laughs> <laughs> Jams. Hi, I'm not working. <laughs> and Pixel Jan, who is definitely working, which is why she's not here. Yeah. <laughs> different different degrees of working. Corey, thank you so much for the resub. Ten months. Oh my goodness. Oh my Are god. You sure? My yeah. goodness. Thank you, Corey. Much appreciated. Yes. One of our first VIPs, FYI. The lovely Corey. Mm-hmm. All right, let's kick things off with what happened in our Curious Corner. What did happen in our Curious Corner? <laughs> My memory is just like... <laughs> we recorded the latest episode of It's on the List, and it's coming out this Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> well, we technically recorded that two weeks ago now. Yeah, but it's coming out this week. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we'll be dropping a brand new episode of It's on the List this Wednesday. You can find it on our Anchor. Is it Anchor? It's Anchor. Yeah, I think. <laughs> that's, that's our home base, yes. but we you can find us on any pod player. We're everywhere. All, All over the damn platforms. place. All over the damn place. You. Um, we we're play. actually crossing two films off of our list, starring the wonderful Tom Hanks. And we actually discuss a little bit about his career and his influence um, on Hollywood and on films. And he is lovely, so we thought it would be a wonderful time to celebrate all things Tom Hanks. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Uh, last Thursday, we had a roundtable discussion on how to prepare for conventions. Um, we went through Jams's wonderful, extensive list of prep, added a couple of updates, 2021 updates, and yeah, that was really fun. Mm -hmm. The list holds fun. up. It does. Let's hold up. Yeah. And we also kickstarted our one year stream bursary celebrations with a giveaway that is still open. And if you want to enter, all you have to do is tweet at us at Nerdy Curious. And you could win. I, I put it away, so let me find the prize. <laughs> Which drawer did I? Oh, there it is. Ah. It's nice and safe in the bottom drawer. Um, and you could win this 2017 Summer Convention exclusive, Princess Leia and R2-D2. Ooh. So yeah. Oh, my oh. ring light is just, I, I'm i very <gasps> bad at this. There we go. It's in really good condition, so huzzah! Maintain box. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all you have to do is just tweet at us. And you'll be entered. Very 
quite simple. Not many entries so far, so you have a very good chance of winning. Yay for winning things. Um, we may be giving away something at the end of the show today, so stay tuned. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I think that's it. Am I missing anything? Uh, we have the I podcast, so. and we have the the newsletter. If you if you um if you are not subscribed to our shiny newsletter, I will drop the link in the chat right now. Um, Ronnie puts together this newsletter. Uh, let's see. I think it's exclamation point. That Biddy. maybe. Um. And we'll also put in the newsletter um, a link to the guide uh, that uh, that Jams put together um, that we discussed last Thursday. So that y yeah. if you are heading to a in-person con and sometime soon um, and you need a guide, it's there for you. Thanks, oh, Past good. Me. <laughs> oh, I am having some issues here. Come on, unfreeze. Unfreeze. Do, 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 do. Magic, magic hands. Okay, good. Cool. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, words. Words are hard. Uh, <laughs> Steven, thank you for the biddies. Corey, thank you for the biddies. And uh, thank you for the resub, Steven. Much appreciated. Biddies. Hello, M. Mackerson. Welcome. Welcome on back. Uh, oh, no worries, Corey. Work and lurk. It's all good. Thank you for the, uh, the kind words. So, yeah, um... Subscribe to our newsletter. It's really awesome and really wonderful. And Ronnie puts in a lot of work. So, subscribe. I wish I could do more, honestly, but I don't have time. <laughs> Come Thanks. in. I've got mail. Oh. You've, you've got mail. Appropriate. I wonder how many Thank of the you. kids recognize that. Yeah. The kids. The kids. The kids today. They never had to listen to that awful dial-up sound. Jesus. I think I still have post-traumatic from that sound. <laughs> it's it's it an was issue. something. It's an issue. Well, I tried stalling, but I guess we'll move on to our what the duck. Ugh. There was a lot of ducks, guys. Can we so just many ducks. Yeah, can we just get like a slow roll on ducks at least for one week? That would be really great. I would no, it's not gonna happen deeply anytime appreciate soon. it. Um <laughs> there was just some really bad behavior all around on the twits this past week. Which is disappointing. A lot of it has been since deleted, which is great, but it's still it, it was still out there and i just disappointment disappointment all around the biggest news however is the activision blizzard lawsuit that dropped last week and i'm not sure if um, everyone has heard about this yet um, if you haven't congratulations you avoided some really just awful things if you didn't uh <laughs> If you didn't get to miss the shenanigans, it's just, it's something that's just not surprising anymore, which is kind of part of the problem. Um, I'm going to give a brief summary for those of you ha who missed the circus last week. Game developer Activision Blizzard has been accused of discriminating against female employees in pay and conditions and allowing a culture of sexual harassment in the workplace. According to a major lawsuit filed by the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing, Activision Blizzard routinely paid women less than men 
discipline women in ways ma- male employees never were, despite them displaying worse behavior, and was less likely to promote women at all levels. The suit also alleges that the offices of the company were rife with sexual harassment and inappropriate behavior. And again, not surprising, sadly. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I'm, I do. It's kind of expected from the industry as well, so. And, and that's the disappointing thing, is that it's, it's only now that people have felt comfortable coming forward. Because in the past, mm-hmm. when they did, they either got blackballed from, um, from promotions, from getting new work, um, and gaslit, but, and not heard. And, and, and a lot of the discourse that was going around was like, well, why didn't these women step forward earlier? And, and that is why. Because in the past, when they did step forward, nothing happened. Or worse, they got disciplined for for speaking out in the first place. Um, another thing that I wanted to bring up was that there was like increased backlash against the employees of Activision Blizzard, and it really wasn't their fault that the people in charge. Ooh, there's so much doorbelling, guys. Ding dong. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Apologies, guys. <laughs> um, this is real life. Yeah, mm-hmm. real life. We have no studios. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so there was like backlash against the employees and backlash against streamers that were streaming games that Activision Blizzard produced. Um, and I think we have to be very careful that we don't turn into the bullies that these lawsuits are. <laughs> are targeting um there's there's definitely a fine line and obviously the people that are in charge at activision blizzard are responsible for creating the culture of their workplaces um but we shouldn't be attacking the people that are that are just trying to do their jobs um within the company that aren't even part of the suit so just something to keep in mind Any other comments? No, I got nothing. It's all just fuckery. Same old, same old. Yeah. I mean, and Activision Blizzard is not the only uh, gaming company that has been accused of of this kind of duckery. Um, and unfortunately, it's going to continue to be a problem until until people get you know, take responsibility for their actions. Hi, Curtis. Welcome on into the ducks. Quack. There's a lot. There's yeah. a lot of ducks around. Quack. Quack. Stay safe, guys. <laughs> Stay safe. Quack. <laughs> Not the mighty kind, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, no. Unfortunately. All right. Let's let's move on to our curious cue of the week. So this was really funny. Um, ESPN tweeted out, name something that isn't an Olympic sport, but feels like an Olympic sport. And I saw some really great uh, responses to this, including uh, buying tickets to conventions, um, <laughs> securing your convention exclusives. Um, I know that a lot of people this past weekend with SDCC at home uh, felt like that they were participating in the Olympics when they were trying to snag one of Priscilla's uh, Sune figures, which sold out in <laughs> less than a minute. So, wow. What is what is something in your everyday life that feels that is an Olympic sport but feels like one? That is the question we are posing. Everyone in the chat, you are free to answer the question as well. Trying to fall asleep. 
Um, Wait, how is that, how does that feel like an Olympic sport? <laughs> Insomnia. Uh, so much well, tossing. So much tossing yeah. and turning. Fair, yeah. fair. Um. Being an adult. To... Yeah, adulting is a good one. <laughs> um, trying to get Cruz to watch a scary movie. <laughs> yeah, Cruz. <laughs> we'll see if we can manifest him. Uh, um, Liz says Funko Hall H, almost any convention. <laughs> yeah. Accurate. That's definitely accurate. The Nerd Olympics, it's it's a thing. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes you need to make a sacrifice to the nerd gods in order for for you to be blessed mm -hmm. with some kind of ticket. One ticket. Yeah. One ticket to rule them all. Indeed. I do have to say, like, household chores definitely feel like an Olympic sport. Yeah, they can. Especially if you, like, procrastinate and leave them off the last minute. <laughs> doing the laundry, doing <sighs> the dishes, you know, that sort of thing. Ooh. Not that I speak from experience or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Us procrastinate? Never. Mm. <laughs> Yoko says flipping tables. I mean, that That's is a, a sport. <laughs> All the fucking tables. Oops. I don't even remember my own uh, commands. I'm good at this, guys. Oh, are you trying to pull up the flipping tables thing? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I love that thing. Is it not working? I haven't seen it pop up yet. Try again. Jamie Jams. Wow, that's a pretty impressive record, Liz. Five gold, seven silver, seven bronze, STCC only. Yay, it's working. <laughs> It's teeny tiny, but it's working. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try again later. Anyhow, so yeah, H have you guys been watching the Olympics? I I feel no. very. I'm like a huge Olympics fan typically, but this this year just feels a little weird to be watching it. Yeah. Also, the time zone. I'm yeah yeah that, that that doesn't help but um i'm just I'm, I'm just not feeling it this year the um i will say that last night watching the the skateboarding the women's uh mm. the women's street um yeah. that was that was so good and it's I, I use the term woman loosely because the 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 first, second, and third place winners were thirteen years old, thirteen years old, and sixteen years old. So, congrats wow. to the kiddos, um, yeah. as they become like the first uh, skateboarders to win Olympic medals for for uh, the women's side of things, um, and their children. The future is bright, guys. It is. For them, anyway. And they're very talented. Mm -hmm. I know when I was 13, I was just a snot of a kid, so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to our discoveries and distractions. Uh, Jams, I think you are up first. Meow. Nah. <laughs> yes <laughs> I just had to throw in some old old school Skeletor <laughs> that was so that kind of goes that kind of goes with the um, uh, the table 
flipping that <laughs> table flip <laughs> going on. Wow. Ah! Oh my god, it's a Oh my god. <laughs> okay, floating head. Okay, okay. anyway. So yeah. we watched all um all five episodes of part one of Masters of the Universe Revelation, and it is so good, you guys. You have to watch it. The animation is incredible. The voice acting is phenomenal. And Kevin Smith is the showrunner. <laughs> Rat! And Jams is being attacked. He broke your audio. <laughs> we can't hear you, Jams. Why, why do these things? Why? Why? Ugh, husbands. <laughs> Husband. <laughs> Good times. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> so yes. Check it out. And I, I like the fact that He-Man isn't the only focus of this show. So, yeah. It's basically a spiritual sequel to the original series. Nice. Fun. Yeah, I've only heard good things so far. Everyone is telling me to watch it, so. I was not big on the original run of Masters of the Universe. Yeah. It was good. Ah, <laughs> We have watched all three episodes that are available right now of Schmigadoon, which is a four? Four episodes? Yeah. Uh, it's an Apple Plus musical comedy starring Cecily Strong and Keegan-Michael Key and a slew of other amazing actors and actresses and many of whom are actually from Broadway. Um, so if you are not ready to commit yourself to an Apple Plus subscription, then I highly suggest waiting until the all of the episodes are up and then getting yourself a free trial because this show is so good. It's so funny, and the songs are like earworms. There was a song that was stuck in both of our heads all day for like two days afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's just so good. It's so good. Yeah. The Broadway talent in this show is kind of off the charts. Also, mm -hmm. um, if you are a big fan, theater nerd you'll recognize some of the the songs because they do kind of parody a lot of songs from original musicals so um there's a little bit of just nerdy theater stuff for for all of the people that are big on uh, musical theater mm -hmm. and the voices everyone just sounds so good mm -hmm. and the dancing yeah. And my last is kind of a two in one. Um, I've been listening to these two podcasts that I discovered. They are both witchy in nature. Um, first one is Witchcraft and Wellness with Nikki Colmone. And that is one that you could you can enjoy even if you're not into witchcraft because she also has a lot of like nutrition and wellness um talks that she does and the white witch podcast is really good for beginners who are looking into various subjects not quite sure where to begin so if you are into the metaphysical world check them out nice fun yay for podcasts mm -hmm. all the podcasts ronnie you're up next oh oh um dune need i say more um 
trailer dropped. I mean, anyone who's familiar with the original or read the books uh, should be excited. Uh, visuals are stunning. Character posters were also released last week, which a lot of people were having fun with. I particularly enjoyed the Oscar Daddy one. That was quite nice. <laughs> um, lots of fun all around. So I'm excited for October. For many reasons. <laughs> Dune being included. <laughs> yeah, lots of lots is happening in October. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fall is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so over the course of um, all of the, the Neil news that has been coming out, uh, because, I mean, basically, like, the Neil universe is the one that we are living in, <laughs> happily, uh, and all of his news about, you know, the all the shows that he's, uh, that are just coming out from everywhere, <laughs> from every, or every orifice on that man's body. <laughs> it's That's insane. graphic. So <laughs> it's Neil, okay? <laughs> um, it had been a really, really long time since I had read or listened to Sandman. So I think that one of the last times there was a cast announcement, um, I had forgotten about just how much time jumping is in the story. Um, and I think I, I miss, uh, this is a corrections corner, guys. I think I wrongly said that Jenna Coleman was cast as John Constantine. She's cast as Johanna Constantine, which is another character. I'm not going to say any more unless you're, um, in case you're not familiar. However, if you want to get familiar with the story before um, the show itself comes out, this... Uh, particular cast that reads this um, audible version of Sandman is ridiculous. And it is currently free. So make sure you go on uh, Neil's uh, Twitter and you'll find a link for it. Um, I went ahead and basically just binge listen to the to part one, which is around 10 hours or so um, over the last few days. Um, so it was a good refresher for me. And um, I mean, James McAvoy, Taryn Edgerton, Michael Sheen, and so on, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they just announced the, the uh, Audible cast for part two, which is also going to be coming out, I believe, in November. I don't think it's October. I think it's November. Uh, but anyway. Uh, at least part one is free, and it is for a limited time, so take advantage of it while you can. Yeah, that was that was a pleasant distraction. Free is good. Jump on it. Free is excellent. <laughs> Especially with that uh -huh. voice cast, my goodness. Jesus. I mean, what James does with his voice as Morpheus is just... <laughs> it's McAvoy! What do you expect at this point? I mean, he's uh, a distraction anyway, all in I'm itself. Not, I just, I'm not gonna, never mind. <laughs> Keep going <laughs> before I get myself in trouble. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Ooh, okay. It is, it's my discoveries and distractions. All right. So yeah. this is a screen cap promotional movie poster thingy. Words. Of the Netflix, well, it's not really Netflix. Netflix is just distributing it. Um, you can find it on Netflix. Um, it's an animated fi anime film called Words Bubble Up Like Soda Pop. Um, it is just adorable and cute. Um, this was a recommendation from a bunch of people that I saw on Twitter saying that you need to check this out. Uh, the film is centered around a shy boy who has an affinity for writing haiku and a bubbly girl who is self-conscious about her smile. And they uh, share a magical summer together after a chance encounter. And it's very sweet. It's about young love. And it's it's just, it's so cute and so um, unexpected. Because you think that this is going to be like a really froofy romantic anime. And um, it, it's actually more than that. So check it out. It's called Words Bubble Up Like Soda Pop. 
It's cute. very good. It's a cute name. Yeah. Jams, I highly recommend this. I know you're into anime. Yeah, it's it not looks, horror. Looks but... really cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's not violent or or horror, but it's it's very sweet and very cute. And the music in this is especially adorable. Um, I mentioned uh, America's Got Talent a couple a couple weeks ago on a previous Discovery and Distraction. Um, the the depth of talent this year is quite deep. There's a lot of singers um, that I've recognize from previous shows and from previous competitions that are that are a part of AGT this year. Um, there's a lot of comedians that I've seen be perform before who are also a part and just the level of talent this year has just been, you know, at the top of the top, which has been great considering how difficult 2020 was. Um, and this particular audition kind of blew me away. It is it was very surprising. I'm not going to give away um, what happens. Um, you're just going to have to go and watch it. It is a dancing couple, Pasha and Aliona. Um, and they are married. And it's, 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 it's a very interesting audition. And you're just going to have to watch it and take my word for it. And be surprised. Okay, now you probably already know that I am not a big fan of TikTok and I'm really upset that there's so many amazing uh, cre content creators on that platform. And I actually was introduced to Stage Door Johnny um, by the wonderful, the real Ben Feldman. And um, Ben sent a bunch of uh, Johnny's links and they are so funny. Um, most of his TikTok shorts are based on the premise of English being just such a weird language. Um, and he sets it up where one person is in charge of coming up with words for the English language and the other person is scribing it down for that person. Um, he plays both roles excellently. Um, it is really, really funny. This particular um, TikTok talks about the word pear as in two of something pear as in the fruit and pear as in trimming away um so it's it, it's just mini lessons on why english is such a weird language and the way that johnny delivers his lines are is you know on point so check out stage door johnny on tiktok or if you're like me have a friend that has tiktok that will just send you all the good stuff and that way you don't have to have the dreaded TikTok app. I'm, I'm pretty sure you and I are the last people that are, like, fighting it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want another social media app on my phone. I don't either, but... But it's a struggle Somebody when there's, like, losing... really funny and really talented yeah. people. <laughs> I feel like Aloha, it's going to be a losing Bentley. battle. Thank you for the kind words. Let's see. The last thing on the docket is our spotlight shoutouts. Um, again, if you aren't subscribed to our newsletter, um, please do. Uh, we will send all of our discoveries and distractions into your inbox. Um... And if you are watching this on our YouTube archive, hello, the link to subscribe to our newsletter is in the description box below. So subscription or death, as our dear Foxy likes to say. Subscription or death. <gasps> and I'll drop yeah. the link to subscribe in the chat once more. I know I dropped it earlier, but in case you guys are late to the party, drop. Um, so yeah, do you ladies have any spotlights you would like to shine? I had one. And my ins my insomnia brain just is not, it's not good. Um, 
I genuinely can't remember. <laughs> I apologize. It flew out the window. It's, I mean, along with everything else, my entire sense is just gone. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Um, I would like to shine a spotlight on Ryan Shane and the entire BuzzFeed Unsolved True Crime team. Uh, they just wrapped up, for the time being, BuzzFeed Unsolved True Crime. It's one of my favorite uh, YouTube series. Um, sad to see it go. However, I'm really um, proud of what they've put together. Um, they really did put together a fun show, and it like reignited my my passion for for true crime. So, congrats to them on a successful five year run, six year run. I've lost track. Um, but yeah, check out the uh, the unsolved true crime playlist. Um, they ended this the end of the series with a, a really fun case. Um, so yeah, congrats to them. And um, I'd like to shine a spotlight on Maggie McNeil, who uh, won Team Canada's first gold at the Tokyo Olympics in the 100 Aww. meter uh, butterfly. Um, so congrats to Maggie and to the entirety of Team Canada so far. Um, it's been really fun, you know, trying to tune in when I can at the Olympics, even though I have been a little bit meh about the whole Olympic um, situation. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, hear hearing the national anthem and seeing how excited Maggie was to win gold was, was lovely to see. I know the Olympic Games does mean a lot to a lot of people um, because they've been training their entire lives for, for this moment, so... Yep. Congrats to Team Canada. Yay, Canada. Jams, do you have any spotlights? Shout, shout out to us for doing this Twitch thing for a year now. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. <laughs> it's been a year, guys. July 25th. For fuck's sake. I knew I was forgetting something. Happy Twitch anniversary! <gasps> Man, and we'll it's be continuing fun. with the uh, with the celebrations well into August when we celebrate the one year of Curious Bites and the one year of Nerds Are Us being rebooted, because um, those are significant dates for us too. They are, um, for sure. But yeah, thanks for sticking with us for a year, everybody. We appreciate all of you. Um, for dealing with all of the gremlins and all of the awkward pauses and all of the word stumbles. It's been fun. Yeah. Um, I mean, practice gets you to perfect. I'm not going to, I'm not going to claim we're ever going to be perfect because that's just not how we roll, <laughs> but uh, practice is good. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully, at least the content will get better <laughs> as as we as we move along. So, oh, of course it's him. <laughs> did we manifest the cruise? We did manifest the cruise. We talked about you earlier. You're He's late. late. He's late. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you for the anniversary wishes, uh, Ryan and Av. Oh yeah, Aww. Ryan and Chris do know each other. I always forget this. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small world, yo. Yeah. You were at the chiropractor. Who? Chris? Cruz, yeah. Mm hmm Oh. Is everything okay? We're old, bud. Is your back okay? You need to watch scary movies. Don't fall apart on us. Yeah, that, that'll make your back feel great. <laughs> <laughs> the scary movies will realign your back. Yes. Sure. Sure. Oh, goodness. Yes. <laughs> Christopher. Christopher. 
Y'all need to tell me what he's saying because I don't have Twitch. Open. He says, want to hear a scary story? My love life. <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> Cabin's a good one for you, man. And like I said, there's a, there's a little bit of TNA in there for you. So <laughs> that should be enough for you. <laughs> Trying to sell it on him. I mean. <laughs> And that's a wrap on this week's Curious Bites. Thank you as always to everyone who joined us in the chat. We appreciate all of your support. Thank you to everyone who dropped all them biddies. Thank you to Yoko and Corey and Steven. And thank you for Big the resubscriptions bitty. to Corey and Steven. You guys are the best. We're actually very, very close to 500 followers, which is insane. Didn't think that would ever happen. Tried not to, like, look at those numbers because, you know, yes, they're important. They're metrics and it's it's a way to, you know, see how many people are actually in this community. But at the same time, you know, having you guys in the chat come in every week, that's all that really matters. That's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. quality versus quantity guys yeah you guys are quality people we just want to make sure that you're happy and we keep you happy and uh that's uh, that's the main focus mm -hmm. so and our other main focus is to get crews to watch a scary movie yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is important to me it's it's ronnie's life's mission now you don't want to let Ronnie down. Yeah. No. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> wow, this turned into some like guilt trippy like stream. <laughs> All right then. Um Do you have anything you want to give away, Ronnie? Um I have tons of shit to give away. Um I'm not going to show you now cuz I need to pick it, but you'll get something. <laughs> A magical um... box of something. Ronnie's random box of shit. That's correct. That is correct. We are stealing that from Alan Tudyk. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I've got tons of nerdy shit, guys. Um, and I've got some collectible, like, figures, too. Um, and if any, if the person who wins, too, I can, I can actually also give you a choice on... Um, topics uh because mine vary so um yeah there, there's there's a ton of, there's just tons of stuff over here mm -hmm. um cruz wants so. to know can he contribute to stuff to give away of course you are more than welcome i know there there's quite a bit of stuff that you have that you want to get rid of too so yeah you're more than welcome yeah so what we're gonna do for our one year stream -versary giveaway is if you are subscribed to our newsletter in the next newsletter answer the lovely question that ronnie's going to add to the end of that newsletter and you will be entered to win said box what's in the so box we have, so we have two giveaways running one if you tweet at us that's all you have to do just tweet at us at nerdy curious and the second one is if you answer the magical question in the next edition of the newsletter. And we Which will reveal the winners. randomly mm -hmm. to you guys. Like, the, the question's always there. And sometimes we randomly just decide to give somebody something. If you answer yeah. the question. Mm -hmm. I haven't been doing it lately. Because it's always the same three people that answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, one of them. Um, yes. <laughs> Which does not count. It counts. Um, it counts. So it counts in my heart. It counts, yes. It means a lot to me. <laughs> but uh, we can't give ourselves stuff. Yeah. No. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. If you answer the question answer questions. in the newsletter, you'll be entered for the magical box that is going to be put together by Ronnie. And it's going to be personalized for Ronnie's you. Ronnie's magical box. Oh, that sounds right. Yo. <laughs> Nobody needs and to if you tweet that. at us, <laughs> you have a chance to win this 2017 summer exclusive 
Princess Leia and R2-D2. So all you have to do is tweet at us, at Nerdy Curious. And you'll win this box. Ooh. I'm dead. Ah. Summer exclusive. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm sure you are. All right, let's wrap. Let, let's wrap this. Let's wrap this puppy up. <laughs> uh, Av, the other box that you could win is a box that Ronnie is going to be putting together, and she will actually give you a couple of themes as options. It's Ronnie's box. <laughs> Wait, Jams had a better description for her box. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Ronnie's oh. magical box. There we go. You have a I'm chance 12. to win Ronnie's magical box. You I'm just have 12. to answer the uh, <laughs> answer the question <laughs> in the newsletter. Oh man, <laughs> it's been I'm a too day. tired. <laughs> I'm just too tired. So yeah. You can either tweet at oh. <laughs> you can do both. Tweet at us at Nerdy Curious. And also subscribe to our newsletter and answer the the question. Of the question. Are aren't <laughs> they supposed to be tweeting us like a happy anniversary or some shit? I mean you can just tweet at us anything or... really. Okay. Alright. You can wish us a happy stream anniversary. That's that's it. That's a that's nice. Yes. We'll take it. All right, so that's it. Bye, guys. Let's go raid someone. <laughs> it's been a day. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, let's raid. Are you going to do the outro so that Jams can do her hand signals? That goes at the very end. We have to raid someone mm -hmm. first. <laughs> Let's oh, okay. raid Zach. We haven't right. had a chance to raid Zach. Um, Zach Rutledge, who has a podcast of his own, a pop culture podcast. Um, he's also a Lego builder. Wonderful human being. If you're not following Zach, please give him a follow. I'm going to drop our raid message in the chat. Thank you to everyone who stuck through whatever this was. <laughs> we appreciate you. Those are the raid messages. If you're a subscriber, copy and paste that first message. If you're not a subscriber, you can copy and paste that second message. We are going to head on over to Zach's channel. I think he's in the middle of a podcast episode, so that's perfect. From one podcast to another. Let's start this raid. Our next stream will be this Thursday. We will have the lovely Karen rejoining us. And we are going to be talking about when's the right time to leave a fandom. So join us this Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific right here on our Twitch. Until then, please remember if you have to go out, continue wearing your masks, get vaccinated when you can, don't be a dick, and stay curious. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for all the wonderful uh, streamversary wishes. You guys are the best, honestly. I know we say it a lot, but... Mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great week. We'll see you Thursday. Bye. My chair is very squeaky. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye-bye.